All right, guys, today we're going to talk about solving inequalities. So the good news is that we are still on the do undo strategy. Uh, the only difference is now we will have an inequality symbol in the middle of our uh, problem instead of an equal sign. So again, an inequality symbol. So we did inequalities last year, and again, we did them in one step. So this year we are going to solve two steps like we did with equations. So again, we are still solving with a do undo chart. Nothing about that has changed, okay? So just keep that in mind. All right, we are still solving with inverse operations, okay? We have inverse operations, and we know inverse operations are opposite operations. It's what we've been using. Remember, the opposite of adding is subtracting. The opposite of multiplying is dividing. So those are our inverse operations. So the one really big thing that's going to change for equa from equations to inequalities is going to be that sometimes we are going to flip our inequality sign. Okay, there are two reasons when we would flip our inequality sign. The first one is if our variable is negative. If our variable is negative. So if we have like negative 2x or if we have like x over negative 4. So those would be examples of when our variable is negative. The other reason to flip our inequality sign is if the variable is on the right. So what does that look like? That would be like if it said uh, 2 is greater than x minus one, right? And so our variable is on the right side, right? This is the right and this is the left, okay? So anytime our variable is on the right, we are going to need to flip our inequality. So let's look at what that is gonna look like in our three examples. So example number one is a model. It says, what is the solution set for the inequality? So you'll see that our, oops, our model here is just pretty much exactly the same as what it looked like when we were solving equations. Again, the only difference is that now we have an inequality in the middle instead of an equal sign. Okay, so what was the first thing we did before? Well, we wrote the uh, inequality or the equation down. And so I'm going to look at my key here and I'm going to say, okay, what uh, what do I see in my key? Well, I can see that the, the shaded ones are negative. So this is going to be negative four. So I'm gonna put negative four here. And then I have X's, I have some very tall rectangles here. So how many X's do I have? Well, I have four and they're positive. So underneath that, I'm gonna write four X. And then here I have my positive ones. I know they're positive because of the key here. So how many positive ones do I have? Do I have two, four, six, eight, 10, 12? And so I have a positive 12. So now what can I do? Well, I can go and write my problem, but you can see that my variable is on the right. And remember, anytime our variable is on the right, we're gonna flip our sign over. And so you can see this is the right side and this is the left side. And so because X is over here, I need to flip. So I am going to rewrite my problem and I'm just gonna switch sides. So four X plus 12 is gonna go over here and negative four is gonna go over here. And what's gonna happen to my sign? It's gonna flip over. So my sign is now going to change directions. And uh, I can check myself because we can ask ourselves, what was the alligator eating? What was the alligator eating here? He was eating the negative four. So is my alligator still eating negative four? Yes, so this flip is fine. All right, so now I can come over here and I can, I'm gonna just box this so it's out of the way. I'm gonna write my problem. I have four X plus 12, and then inequalities flipped minus four. All right, I'm gonna draw my line down the inequality and my inequality is gonna stay that same direction now because I have a positive variable, so I don't need to flip it because the variable is negative. 
and I'm gonna make my do undo chart. So I'm gonna come over here to the side and really small, I'm gonna make my do undo just for, cause I don't have much room. All right, what are they doing? Well, I can see they are adding 12. So I'm gonna put they're adding 12. And then what else are they doing? Well, they are multiplying by four because we know anytime a number and a letter sit next to each other, that's multiplication. So I'm gonna write multiplication in the middle there and I'm gonna put they are multiplying by four. So how do I undo these operations? Well, the opposite of adding 12 would be subtracting 12. The opposite of multiplying by four would be dividing by four. So now I have my do undo chart and I am ready to solve. So step one, I'm going to subtract 12. Okay, so I'm gonna subtract 12 from both sides, maintaining that balance. My 12s cancel out and I have four times X left. And then on this side, I have a minus four and a minus 12. And I know that those are both negative when we think about integers. So they'll be on the same team, which means we're just gonna add them together and they would stay negative. So this is gonna be negative 16. All right, and then our last step is going to be that divide by four. So I'm gonna divide both sides by four and I know that X is left over here, and I need integer man for my negative 16, positive four, and I can see that that's gonna be a negative four. So my final answer for this problem will be X is less than or equal to negative four. And so I'm actually gonna make a habit of labeling which one is um, more and which one is less. So. It, when I look at my inequality symbol, remember it eats the bigger number, so negative four is gonna be the bigger. So I'm actually gonna label this side more, oops, more, and I'm gonna label this side less, okay? And again, um, I'm just doing that to remind myself which side is going to be more and which side's gonna be less, all right? And that's gonna help us graph in a little bit. All right, let's try example number two. Example number two says solve and graph the solution set for negative 4x minus 10 is less than or equal to two. So just as a reminder of graphing, I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna say, okay, these symbols have an open circle and these symbols have a colored in circle. So hopefully you remember that from last year in sixth grade. But again, if you don't, there's your reminder on graphing, okay? So there's our graphing reminder. All right, so I have my problem already ready to go. So I'm going to come over here and make my do undo for my, for my problem. Um, I'm gonna look at my variable first. I'm gonna say, is this a negative variable? Yes, that four is negative with X. And so what's gonna happen to my inequality? my inequality is going to change directions. So I need to flip this inequality over and you can see that it went from eating the two to now it's eating this side, okay? So it did flip over. All right, now I can create my do undo to properly solve. And so I look and I say, okay, what are they doing? Well, they are subtracting 10. So that's gonna be my first thing, subtracting 10. And then what are they doing in between the four and the, and the X? Well, they are multiplying by negative four. So they're multiplying by negative four. And so how do we undo those operations? Well, the opposite of subtracting is adding 10 and the opposite of multiplying is dividing by negative four. So clearly immediately I can see that I'm gonna need an integer man for that. And um, I probably will not need anything for my adding and subtracting because it's a plus 10, okay? So I am going to start by adding 10 to both sides. So I'm gonna grab that 10 and say plus 10, plus 10 on both sides. And the 10s cancel out. On this side, I have negative four times X left and 10 plus two is 12, okay? So I'm done with my plus 10. And now I'm going to divide both sides by negative four. I can see the fours cancel out. All that's left on this side is X. And then positive 12 and negative four tells me my answer will be negative three. 
So my solution for this problem is x is greater than or equal to negative three. And again, who is it eating? Well, in this case, my alligator mouth, my Pac-Man is eating the x. And so I'm gonna label that side as more and this side as less. All right, so I'm gonna find negative three on my graph. I'm gonna find it. And what kind of circle am I gonna use? Well, I have a line underneath. You can see here I have one of these symbols. And so because I have one of these symbols, I am going to shade in my dots. So I'm gonna to go to negative three and make a nice shaded in dot, colored in dot, closed dot. And then remember last year we learned we're just gonna take our inequality symbol and write it on top. And what happens? Well, it makes an arrow, okay? It makes an arrow and that arrow tells me which way to shade. Well, which way is it pointing? It is pointing to the right. And we can always check and see, does the end of my arrow match my symbol? So when I look, do these match? Yes, so I shaded the correct way. So remember X is more, remember we labeled it as more. So are all of these numbers more than negative three? Yes. So if I think about my number line, remember this side is more and this side is less. So I double checked myself just to make sure, did I shade correctly? All right, my last problem here is going to be solve and graph the solution set for m divided by negative two plus eight is greater than three. All right, so I'm going to start by creating my do undo chart and drawing my line down the equal sign. Okay, so step one, when I draw my line down the actually inequality sign, I have to ask myself, is this inequality going to flip? Well, I look at my letter, my variable, and I ask myself, is this negative? Yes, I can clearly see right here, negative two is dividing the M. So because this is a negative variable, my inequality symbol is going to flip. So I'm going to write that. I'm gonna say, oh, this is gonna flip. And I'm gonna change my Pac-Man's direction. So again, just to double check myself, it was eating the eight, okay, and now it is eating the three. So I flipped my sign, now I can make my do undo chart. So I go to my chart and I say, okay, they are adding eight and they are dividing by negative two. I know a fraction uh, is dividing, so anytime I see a fraction, it's dividing. So what are the opposites of those operations? Well, the opposite of adding eight is subtracting eight, the opposite of dividing is multiplying, and we keep the negative two. I know I'm gonna need integer man right here, and I probably will need my positive negative table up here because this is a minus eight, okay? All right, so let's get started. We're gonna start by subtracting eight on both sides. Okay, the eights cancel out, and all that I have left on this side is m divided by, oops, I wrote it as a division symbol, m divided by negative two, okay? And on this side, we have a positive three and a negative eight, so I'm gonna throw those onto my positive negative table. So positive three, negative eight. Who's gonna win? Well, I can see eight is bigger, eight's more powerful, so my answer is gonna be a negative five. Remember, different signs subtract, okay? So now I have finished my minus eight step and I'm moving on to my times negative two. So I'm gonna multiply by negative two on both sides, multiply by negative two. Integer man says negative five, negative two, so my answer will be positive 10. And on this side, my twos cancel out. So my solution is M is less than positive 10. And remember, we're gonna label which side is more. So I have to think about which side is being eaten. Well, I can see my Pac-Man is eating the 10. So that's gonna be the side that I label as more. And this side will be less. And I'm gonna go find 10 on my graph. I'm gonna put a open dot because remember, there is no equality line here, so it's gonna be an open dot. So I'm gonna go find 10 and make a nice open dot on 10. And then I'm gonna draw my symbol on top. 
And again, it makes a nice arrow that points us in the direction that we need. And you can clearly see this end of my number line matches that arrow, so I would shade this way. So let me just check myself. If M is less, remember we labeled it as less, are all of these numbers less than 10? Yes, so we graphed it correctly. And that is your graphing and solving two-step inequalities. Reminders, we flip the inequality when the variable is negative. Remember, we're gonna decide that before we ever start solving, okay? And we flip the inequality when the variable is on the right. So if it's on the right, we're gonna rewrite the problem and uh, that way it's already flipped and ready to go. And remember, we use do undo. And that is inequalities. Thanks, guys.